morning to you. It's 8.13 right now. Looking outside, it's going to be a really nice morning and just slightly cooler. Yeah, it's a great morning already. 62 degrees. Can't go wrong with that. He has played in three World Cups with the U.S. national soccer team. Tim Howard, the keeper, has also played for Manchester United and Everton, and now he's a member of our... Colorado Rapids. He's the man. Tim Howard joins us live from Dick's Sporting Goods Stadium this morning. We are thrilled to have you. Not only here in Colorado, what a shirt, too. The Smashing Pumpkins, seriously. Oh, you nice. couldn't get any cooler until you had that shirt on. <laughs> I got to ask you, you know, Colorado, why Colorado? You probably had your choice of a bunch of teams. Why pick Colorado? Well, I'll tell you what, I was, uh, I was sold on it. I spoke to the executives and the manager, Pablo, who I played with all those years ago. Uh, and they told me about some good things that were happening here. So I trust those guys and I believe them and uh, I'm certainly glad I made the decision. Hey, uh, so you spent uh, the better part of the last decade out in the Premier League. How are you settling to uh, life in the States and uh, returning to Major League Soccer? The smoothest transition ever. The sunshine that's uh, <laughs> on my face right now, it disappeared for 13 years. So uh, Denver's been great to me so far. I look forward to putting some roots down. Well, and I think you will like it here. I think you'll be embraced for sure. How could you not be? But one of the things you've shown is such a passion for uh, some of the, the social awareness uh, campaigns that you care so much about. PETA, and in your book you talk about Tourette's and, and OCD. Do you think it's important mm -hmm. for athletes to be socially active, or do you just feel like it's important for you? Yeah, you know what? Athletes are human beings, so you can choose to do what you like. And no, I don't think every athlete is a role model. You know, I just like to get into the community. I think being a part of, being part of the community that you play in um, just kind of helps with the overall feel of, of the club and the team. And um, the fans are important to us, you know. And so if we can find a different connection other than just the soccer side of things, uh, it's important to me. So, um, you know, social issues are something that I'm not afraid to talk about. Or afraid to be active with, um, but it's not for everyone. You have a voice, and uh, it, you have the access to use it, which is great that you do use it for a great cause. Uh, now, you grew up on the East Coast, out there in Jersey. Uh, Colorado, much different than growing up in Jersey. <laughs> What's your favorite thing uh, yeah. so far about Colorado now that you're here? You know what? Just the, the, the clean air. Um, if you've ever been to Jersey, you know our air is not <laughs> that clean, even though I love it there. Um, <laughs> you know, just the, just the being able to see the mountains every day, see the sunshine. Um, the people out here are great. They, um, just the way of life. Everyone's vibrant and, and, and happy, and I love it. You know, I, like I said, I've, I've, I've come from Europe, and uh, there's, some, there's some gray days. So this has been uh, huh. great. Everyone I've spoken to has just been super excited about the team. All right, Tim. So a lot of people remember your performance uh, in the World Cup in 2014 with, with the 2-2 draw with Portugal. Your crazy goaltending. You know, you got player of the game. Uh, how does it feel to know that you stonewalled the guy that just won the uh, UEFA championship for Portugal? Um, yeah, it's good. You know, the big games are what it's all about. We live for those, you know. Um, that was a good run we had in 2014. The team played well, therefore, um, I played my part and I played well. And anytime you're judged as a player, it's usually, you're usually judged against the best. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. You're one of the best. Before we run, favorite Smashing Pumpkins song since you got the oh, t shirt yeah. on. Come on. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, for me, this whole album uh, is pretty killer, so um, take your pick. <laughs> It's a good answer. He is such a cool guy. <laughs> Tim, you are so cool. We're so glad you're here with us Thanks, in Colorado. Seriously. It is an honor to have you. And you will have a facial Thank beard phenomenon me. coming your way, I think, with all of us Coloradans. Him and Chuck Nasdy uh, real. going at it. Even Bro Brooke's going to grow up. I am. Yeah, if if only I could. Right. It's so plush. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. You can see Tim in action this Thank Saturday you. at Dick's Sporting Goods Park as the Rapids take on Kansas City, that game is at 7 o'clock. You know, you're talking about Europe. He's a dual citizen, Hungary he, and the U.S. So yeah. he's, I mean, he's really a worldly guy. And we got lucky. I mean, he's, he's one of the best. He is. And uh, Kirk, how does it feel? He's, I think, 37 and a world class athlete. Right. And here we are in our 30s. I got a year. <laughs> <laughs> to get to, to world-class status. <laughs> I, I, I feel like you may have missed.